thanks for joining us today on Living Supernaturally. We hope you're having a great day. Um, today, we, um, in our daily devotion, we are taking time to look at the walk of a believer and we're looking at how walking means to live our life, to regulate our life and to conduct ourselves. And scripture has many exhortations, especially in the epistles, how we need to walk. Uh, we, today, we're looking at Ephesians chapter 2 and verses 8 to 10. Ephesians 2 beginning at verse 8 for by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest anyone should boast for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them so we are we are instructed here to walk in those good works which God has already prepared. He has prepared beforehand. But first of all, we see that we are saved by the grace of God. By grace, you have been saved. Saved through faith in His works, not by our works. Saved by faith in His work on the cross. So it's a gift of God. It's not something that we can boast about. So that is what it says, not of works lest anyone should boast. But we are indeed a work of God. We are His workmanship. We are a work of art, His poema. And we are born again. When we are born again, we are created in Him. We are His workmanship. We are formed or shaped or transformed for His purposes. So in Christ Jesus, we are created we are His workmanship and we are created for the good works. The scripture also talks about how we were, this passage also talks about how we were before we were born again, before we were created in Christ Jesus. That we see in verse 1 and 2, it says, You who He made alive, you were dead in trespasses and sins, in which you once walked according to the course of this world. So we walked according to the course of the world, according to the conforming to the ways and values of the world, according to the prince of the power of the air, and uh, in alignment with, in agreement with all these things. But now, having been born again, we have these good works that God has already prepared. He has prepared beforehand, and we are invited to walk in them. Praise God that we are His workmanship and these good works are labor or act or deeds uh, which are an outcome of the work of the Holy Spirit, which is the fruit of the Spirit. So the good works refer to that. The good works also refer to ministry, uh, the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit or the power of God in and through us. So both of these um, point to the good works that God has preferred prepared beforehand, which means that He wants us to meet certain people, He wants us to manifest His glory, He wants us to maybe go to some places and to facilitate an encounter uh, with God Himself for certain people. So He's called us to live this exciting, wonderful life, to, to walk in the good works that He has prepared beforehand. So what is the good work that He has prepared for you today? Even as you live with God, journey with Him, you have the privilege of discovering joyfully so that you can walk intentionally. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for the good works that you have prepared beforehand that we could walk in them, that we should walk in them, God. And Lord, we pray today there will be a joyful discovery of, Lord, some of these good works that we may walk intentionally and purposefully in them. We thank you. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.